Hello guys, Brad here again with another fragrance review. Today's review will be Tabac Rouge by Vaidon. Came out in 2013. Classified as an Oriental Fougere and as a unisex fragrance. Notes, ginger, cinnamon, honey, musk, powdery notes, and benzoin. And I think you could also say tobacco as well because there definitely does seem to be a tobacco note in here. And the name Tabac Rouge implies tobacco, so I'm not sure why... They didn't say tobacco unless it's sort of like a uh, pseudo tobacco, but I definitely get more tobacco here than a lot of other fragrances like Pure Vein or CK1 Shock that say tobacco and don't really smell like tobacco to my nose. So uh, the reason I wanted to try this one out, uh, somebody was doing a split on Facebook. People were saying that it's the tobacco vanille killer, smells better than tobacco vanille. Uh, it's definitely cheaper than Tobacco Vinny, so yeah, I wanted to try it out. For me, Tobacco Vinny is not a perfect fragrance. That clove spiciness in there really gives it sort of like a funky um, pipe or cigar, cigarette feel, and I uh, was a little bit uncomfortable with it just based on my brief experience wearing it. But this one, I think it's much better. The ginger cinnamon give it more of like a holiday spiciness. Very nice, almost like a Christmas or... Thanksgiving kind of a feel. Uh, somebody at work said that it did remind them of uh, pipe tobacco because they smoked pipe when they were younger. Um, my stepdaughter said it kind of smelled like dried grapefruit incense. So you might get a little bit of an incense you feel here, but certainly not a strong incense like a church incense that uh, you get from other niche fragrances. Uh, so yeah, very impressed with this one. Uh, if you're looking for a honey tobacco, I think this one could probably be best in class. Um, but better than tobacco vanille, in my opinion. Much better than, uh, you know, Pure Havane, CK1 Shock. Um, a little bit better than Xenia Forte as well. A nice mature vibe. Easy to wear. Versatile for colder weather. Um, never seems overpowering, but it does seem to uh, last quite a bit. So let me get into some scores. The smell, perfect 10, uh, best in class, great honey tobacco smell here with some spices, give it like a holiday feel. Projection longevity, 8 out of 10. Uh, never really seemed to like uh, be a powerhouse, but it, I think it makes up for that with just a nice subtle fragrance cloud that kind of stays with you for a while. Maybe not the whole day, uh, it, it varied, I would say probably 4 to 6 hours. Versatility. Probably best for winter and fall, uh, maybe in the summertime, in the evenings, 7 out of 10 versatility. Uniqueness, 7.5 out of 10. You could say it has shades of Spice Bomb, Tobacco Vanille, um, Eau de Beau, but uh, definitely I think it's its un own unique fragrance to some extent because um, the richness of the tobacco was better than Spice Bomb. wasn't I don't think it was as surfy sweet as Eau de Beau. And it didn't have that uh, strong spicy clove note that uh, Tobacco Vini had. Price point, $160 gets you the big 100 ml, which uh, is a lot cheaper than uh, the 50 ml bottle of Private Blend Tobacco Vini from Tom Ford. Overall, even though, you know, it, it had some, you know, lacking in versatility or price point, I still think it deserves a 10. Great uh Honey tobacco fragrance. If you're into tobacco vanille, this could be the new one for future winters. So thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later.